here's an assembly file that ASM that is assembly file contains this part and that one and let's see how to extend this part the top one till that edge till here but do it inside the assembly file not separately modify the length of this one and make it match the length of that one so to extend this part inside the assembly here in the assembly tab we have these tabs here on the assembly we have insert components don't click on that one but click on the down pointing arrow and i should use this new part after clicking on new part the third part will appear here currently i have one and two so click on new part the third one just appeared now select where to create the new part I will select this face because I want to extrude this one till there so click on that face it got transparent now it's giving us the option of drawing a sketch and on the sketch tab I will use this rectangle and I will add a point here and a point there so left click there it's drawing that rectangle I'm not holding down the mouse button and I'm going to click there so that's the sketch that I just created now go back to features and here we have extruded boss inside an assembly file so extruded boss now I can drag that arrow to make it extend okay but here at direction I'm not going to use blind but up to vertex click on that one and now I will select this line and this will be extended till that line so left click there it got extended accept it get out from this one and there is the third part which was created inside the assembly now let's click on the save button and we can save this third part internally inside the assembly so that part will be inside this ASM file I don't want that I want to, to specify another file externally okay it's going to call it part 14 because that one is part 14 so let's just cancel it go to that one right click on it and click on rename part let's call it not part 14 but part 3 and press enter now it's called part 1 part 2 and part 3 now back to the save button externally save that part 3 ok and that's it we have three parts 1 2 and 3 inside that assembly if I close this one there is the new part and I can use the assembly because it is present there also yes rebuild it so that's how to draw another part inside an assembly file using SOLIDWORKS